today I'm here with a new video, of course, because I'm going to try to put up 31 videos in a row each day in December. So I am going to have a little series during this month. I am, of course, using something red in all my looks, but I also am going to do a series that I call Draw the Lipstick, or I don't even know what this is called. Draw a lipstick, let the lipstick decide. This is the first video I'm doing. Maybe I come up with a better name. Probably not, but draw a lipstick. So I have put all my red lipsticks I have in this one. Some more are coming my way, so I'm going to fill this up with even more. I think it's 29 in here. I have a problem, yes. So I'm going to draw a lipstick and then I'm going to do the look based on the lipsticks. And I wanted to do this because I like always struggle with choosing a lipstick to my eyeshadow. So I was like, okay, I do it the other way around. So I'm going to draw a lipstick and then we will see which lipstick it is. And then I'm going to pick whatever I want in my collection and do a look with it. So I will just open this, scratch my eye a little bit, put my hand down. And I know, I know how some lipsticks feel, but I'm just going to like this. So I got this. This is a liquid lipstick from Nabla. This is Vicious. This came out with the Dreamy 2 collection and this is like a glossy liquid lipstick. And I'm going to swatch it and it is kind of dark. It looks like this and it's going to stay like sticky and Astrid is here. Hopefully she will just lay down and watch me record. Yeah. Now she's going to wash her little butt. Uh, so yeah, this is Vicious from Nabla. And I'm going to try to not only do a green looks with this. Because if you didn't know this, I love to pair a green with a red lipstick. So I'm just going through my collection a little bit. See what I want to do with this. I think I want to go pretty dark because this is a dark red. So yeah. I will just go through some palettes and then I come back and we just start with making the look around the lipstick and not the other way around. So I decided to go with Nabla and I have swatched a little bit and this is sometimes how I plan my looks. I think I'm just going to show you that and the lipstick is in middle and then I just have swatched some other shades around it. So yeah, like all I know before is that I want this because the lipstick is dark, so I want to do a dark look. So I've taken out the Dreamy 2 palette because the lipstick came with the palette. But the one thing I'm missing with this one is a really dark, dark shade. This looks kind of dark, but it's not super dark. So I'm going to take Nabla's single shadow in pitch black. And this is pitch black. This is one of their... I don't know if it is... Because they have different mattes. I think this is super matte. <laughs> and I want to do like really dark black. And then I think I will take um, this shade like to do like a half cut crease. I think at least I want to do that. Yes. So I'm going to start... Maybe I should take one other of the shingles shades. Maybe I take this one. This is Kids, also one of their singles. And I'm going to take this in my crease first. And I should really wash all these brushes. But who has time for that? Not me, not you, not nobody. So I'm going to start with Kids, one of the single shades, and just take it in my crease. And one other reason why I wanted to do this is because I want to, I have talked about this so, so many times before. I want to play more with the palettes I already own. And sometimes it's really like hard. I feel like 
when you're having a YouTube channel, you often want to play with like newer things. But now we're digging into a little bit of the older things. And then I'm going into the Dreamy 2 palette and I'm going to take this new past this one and just deepen down my crease a little bit. So I'm going to tap it off and then just take it here, in here, on here. And it's now I might am a little bit afraid because this pitch black is so so black. So I'm going in with a brush. I'm just taking a little bit, maybe a little bit more, tapping it off, and then going in with it out here. But one thing I like with this pitch black, it is when you swatch it, it is such like a dry dry black but it works and I'm thinking about might to cut my crease for the shimmer because I I want it to be really intense and also I want it to I want to put it a little bit over the black and I don't think I'm going to be able to do that without cutting my crease. Now I'm going in with the brush that I had a little bit in my crease and just blending this black out. So I don't really know like the shape of the black I want to take but something like this. And I remember like a couple of years ago when I hadn't figured out like to use black eyeshadow. I was so afraid of it. Now I'm thinking doing pretty okay. I'm just going to do the same on the other eye and then I'm going to cut the crease. The time for cutting my half cut crease. I'm using the NYX Glitter Primer and I'm taking it on a small brush of course taking it out of my hand, taking it on the brush, and then I just try to cut it the best as I can. And I'm tapping out the edges. And then I'm going in with Amber Cord, a Marcord. I'm so bad with like Nabla because they like always use, it's Italian, I guess, because it is an Italian brand and Italian is not my first language, not my second language, it just isn't a language for me that I know any of like I don't know okay I don't think this brush was the best but you know what I have a little bit of a crisis with my brushes because I haven't like cleaned them in a while and that brush usually usually works so freaking good is this better I think it was I can't remember if the cutie palettes was before this or not. I can't rem remember which palette came first, but Nabla came out with a lot of new formulas like latex and stuff like that. And I, I wouldn't say that I hate it, but it's not like for me. I didn't need it in my life. So I think some of the shimmers I don't know what kind of formula it is and I don't know like how or which brush that works best and everything like that. And this brush was better and what do you think? Do you think that the red lipstick is going to be good with this? I really hope. I was a little bit like afraid that it was going to be leaning to the pink. But I don't actually think it's doing that. Not like it would look strange with red lippy. 
I'm just going in a little bit with the black. I think that was too, too much. So I'm just going in with the black a little bit here. Just to blend it a little. I am happy with how this looks. I'm just going in with my smaller crease brush. This one. Take the new paws that I deepened out my crease with. Tap it off. And just go over like everything. The black and the shimmer. So okay, I will cut the crease on this eye as well and do the exact same. I need to be a little bit more concentrated and that's why I like, only cut the crease. Cut one of the creases. So I will do the same on this eye. And then I will fix my base my brows as normal and we will actually put this lipstick on together. I'm usually not doing that with you. But I'm going to do it today because it's all about the lipstick. So yeah. I will fix almost everything and then I come back. So it's time for a quick little under eye and I actually think <laughs> I will go in with the matte shadow put in my crease first. So this one kids and I'm taking that on my whole lower lash. I might get like a hold of the black when I'm in here. I think that happened. Oh well. Doesn't matter because I'm taking the black after just to connect them. So I'm just going over with kids here to connect a little bit. I'm doing the same on the other eye. And then I'm taking the black, the pitch black. Just a little bit on the brush and also tap it off. And then be a little bit concentrated. Do not get it too like far down or anything like that. So, so I will just pop something in my waterline, put on mascara, and then we we'll put on the lipstick together. So, okay, now it's only the lips left, and we are doing this together, and I hate to put on my lipstick on camera. Um, the Nabla one, it has a wand like this. I don't think their normal lipstick is like this, actually. I can check. Because I think this is more like a high coverage gloss in one way. Let's see, I have some other red novels here. No. They usually are like this, so a little bit tilted. That one is just flat. And I do not like this that much because I think it's hard to like stay in my lines. So. We will see how this go. I might take it up. And this is really, real creamy. I got a cat. How did I even succeed to have a cat hair on this one? So I always do my bottom lip first. When I'm wearing like a red or a dark lipstick, I don't want it on my teeth. I don't want any of my teeth. So I do this old trick where I put my finger in my mouth. I'm going to cut that out, just to know. But I do it. Fuck, I should have taken a lip pen, I think. So this is the lipstick on. It's really like shiny, as you can see. And I should have taken a lip liner because I just remembered that this bleeds a little bit but it's on a contact getaway and do I think the lips go with the eyes? I don't know I think the lips are like a little bit too I don't know if I want to say warm but it feels like they don't go super good together 
maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe I have a hard time choosing lipsticks to my eyes because I'm just not good at pairing. I don't know. But I really like the eye look and this is not my favorite red because I don't like it to be so sticky because my hair like get stuck in it and then I have like do you have fucking hair? Why can't you like be like I want you to be like straight down? I don't want to flat iron this. Um, I don't like to have like a sticky lip because when I have my hair out and it got stuck in the lips, I get like red streaks all over my face. But yeah, this is the finished look that draw my draw a lipstick look. I might come up with a better name. Probably not, but I can try. So yeah, I really hope that you like this series and it will come up some, I think maybe once a week. So yeah, and I was thinking when I did this look, I might going to try to take like eyeshadows from the same brand. I don't have eyeshadows from all the brands that I have read, read lipsticks from, but the most of them I actually think. So I might do that, we will see, or I just do whatever I want. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I really hope that you will stick with me during December. This is going to be fun but hard. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye! And yeah, of course, I am taking this out so I will not have a video with this one. I should have said that in the beginning. I didn't. Are you surprised? I am not.